Hey guys, what is going on? So this is our first day where we're not doing some sort of tour. We're just going and exploring on our own. So this trip in Ecuador, we've been going like tour, 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 which is tons of fun. There's something to just going and exploring on your own and not always being on someone else's schedule. Today, we're just going to see the different things that we wanted to see in this town of Baños. So first, uh, Rachel wants an empanada, if you didn't catch that. But first things first, we're going to the Playa del Diablo, this thing, which is like one of the coolest things you got to see here in Baños. It's a massive waterfall. So we just got to a viewpoint in the jungle here and you can see the waterfall across the canyon. I mean, it's not close at all. I'm kind of curious how all these people are doing this. This is actually like a legit hike to get down into this canyon, cross some bridges, and then you get to the waterfall. It's gonna take a little bit. All right, so we just got into the entrance of the Diablo, which is a buck 50 a person, and you get to go hike through and explore. Everything here is super cheap in this country, like all these types of things. They're always like a buck or two is all. It's nice not paying like extremely high prices, like 20, 30 bucks to go walk to this waterfall. It's a buck 50. You can probably hear it. It is, it's not a small waterfall, I'll tell you that. This is how you get behind the waterfall. It's Saturday, so it is definitely crazy here trying to get some uh, cool photos, but there's so many people. Oh, this is rad, I've never seen a waterfall like this. So big. <laughs> All right, definitely a must see when you come here, but don't go on the weekends. Do not go on the weekends. This is crazy. I, I have a headache because it's just so, it's dealing with all these people run around and oh, it's a lot. Definitely come to Banos during the week to see these kind of things. I bet you the swing that we saw last night is probably just jam packed because Yesterday it was it was bad, but not Saturday bad. Maybe we can find a clear spot and see a little bit better and have a little bit of chill, relax time. And so we kept seeing these canopy tours going uh, across the canyon here. So we stopped and I'm gonna do one. This is gonna be crazy. This was a whole $10, and I'm gonna be flipping around as I cross this canyon. Well, what's up, Pero? So after flying through the air like a monkey to the other side of the canyon, there's one issue. We're on the other side of the canyon. So we had to take this special little cart and take it back to the other side. This in itself was probably just as much of a thrill ride as hanging upside down and flying across this. How was it? <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> $10, that's it. $10 to go flying across the canopy. If you're in the US, could you imagine what the cost is? Also, the safety, I mean, it was safe, but like he had me hooked up to the rope and just kind of let me stand there. If I slipped, I would have been going. It's kind of insane. Not you doing really. it? No. So 
we're back in town, done with the adventure activities for the day. Now we're just kind of exploring, looking for some things like ponchos and alpaca things and all that good stuff. There's a lot of shops down here. We haven't actually been in town during the day, so we haven't been able to see any of them. That was like, so that is cuy, which is, it's a common delicacy here in Ecuador, which is guinea pig. I mean, those are really big guinea pigs though. It was like teeth and all. I don't know, I just ate, so I don't think I'm gonna try some cuy, but still here a couple more days. Maybe I'll try it at some point. All right, and now, and now it started raining, so we gotta go find something else to do. Can't do We're anything. Get your nails done. We're gonna go get our nails done. I think that's the plan. It's so cheap. Nails, massage. Yay. There's a restaurant where you can just chill with like couch cushions on the ground, and take your shoes off, that whole kind of thing. I don't know. We're just gonna go relax. We're exhausted for some reason. Maybe it's because I flew over that camp. So we're right across from the hot springs. The line is out of control. I mean, we've been here for the last few days and apparently everyone wants to go to the hot springs. Everyone has floaties and they go into the hot springs with floaties. All right, let's go get our nails done, Rach. So I took one of my other cameras out for the rest of the night and I had a major issue with the audio, so I have no audio from the rest of the night. However, we would just walked around town some more, got to see what else was going on. On Saturday nights, it's crazy all over town. They have these party buses and Fred Flintstone party trains going everywhere. It was really weird. Not really sure how they work. If you jump on, jump off. They, did, they just kind of cruised around. It was very odd. While wandering the streets, we found a stray dog that seemed to like Rachel. So we hung out with it for a little bit and it wanted to do some tricks for us. After this, we kept seeing the stray dog everywhere around town. It's pretty funny. All in all, it was a great day. The Diablo was so cool to see. Flying around like a monkey was awesome. Banos is just one of those towns where there's so much to do and see. And the last thing we do every night when we're in Banos is we go to the brewery and we get a beer from our friend Seth. Tomorrow's video will be something a little different. We did a little mini documentary with Seth and I'm gonna give you guys a little look into behind the scenes and some of the other stuff we did on that day. And guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.